Oh my god, a fish just jumped out of the water and scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, it's flipping. Please don't eat me. Oh my goodness. Okay, as I was saying, in the next 20 minutes, we're gonna build a website using WordPress. What's up everybody, it's Adrian Greenbilly here and you're watching one video in a series of 30 on how to make money online for beginners. There's a stat on the internet that says around 30% of all websites on the internet use WordPress. So by far in a popularity contest, WordPress is the best. I think out of all the most popular content management systems, WordPress has the biggest learning curve. You know, a lot of smart people, way smarter than I am, have created these plugins and themes that allow you to create a website without knowing how to code. But WordPress still is about kind of connecting and piecing things together. So in this video, I'm gonna be building a website from scratch using WordPress, and I'll also connect a few of, I think, what are the most crucial uh, plugins to have a successful website. And I'm gonna do all this in the next 20 minutes. Let's get started. In the next 20 minutes or less, we're gonna build a WordPress website on wordpress.com. If you've researched at all on how to build a website before on WordPress, there are there's wordpress.org and wordpress.com. WordPress.com is the easier route for beginners. WordPress.org would be uh, a website if you wanna eventually stem off and have your own hosting and um, basically be ready to scale a blog with lots of traffic. That's the preferred way to do it. But for beginners, this is where I recommend because I think it's kind of an evolutionary process as you work on your brand. Um, I've also kind of shared a lot of times that when you are creating a website from scratch, it is important because you gotta have something, but it's not that important because you have no traffic and no strategy yet to drive customers in. It depends on what you want to do, right? Which is, we got uh, Squarespace and Shopify we reviewed and then WordPress, that's just a different blogging platform, which can do e-commerce, but it's mainly for blogging platforms. And this is just the recommend recommendation I have for you to start. After you create an account, the first place is to create a domain. So I'm gonna be sticking with my forever pair domain. After you create an account and pick a domain name, this will be your dashboard for your content management system of wordpress.com. Now, what's funny is this was one of my very first websites I ever built um, using WordPress, and I still have it. Actually logging in here, I was gonna create this from scratch, but then I realized I still have my very old website. I, I hope none of you have seen it before, we are about to show it. And uh, this just goes to show maybe a, a big transition as to where I started <laughs> versus where I am today. Look at that. It's, it's, it's pretty ugly. Just to give you a reference, you know, my personal brand website uh, today looks like this. So it is much different. It's on Shopify now. Um, but this is, you got, we all start somewhere. And I honestly think, you know, if you're trying to blog and create um, blogs online, WordPress is the place. Um, depending on your uh, skill sets, you know, WordPress.com is going to be a very, very limiting uh, website, um, but it is a place to start and that's all that matters. So here's exactly pretty much all the things you need to create. Uh, writing a blog post is right here. I'm assuming you want to be on WordPress because you're going to be blogging. So this is a very important uh, element and step. Um, writing a blog post, you give it a click and then you basically get to create your articles or, or blog posts and we'll just go through all the elements here. So um, how to make money online in 2021. So just say to make money online paragraph. Let's add an image or a form. Let's see here. Hit browse and look at now you can create all different types of galleries and collages and um, you can add integrate music and videos so um, I can simply embed or upload a video which is awesome and I, I'm basically on on the free plan of WordPress right now because I'm not gonna seriously use this but I do want to walk through it with you um, but basically after I purchase and WordPress is going to be the cheapest solution versus 
uh, Squarespace and Shopify. So if you're balling on a budget and you want to take the time to make this look pretty, because I would say it's probably going to be the uglier website compared to the other two, this WordPress.com is the place to be. But um, just by hitting this plus button, I want to show you, you can basically integrate and make beautiful blog posts and do amazing things, adding quotes. Um, if you know how to do your own code and edit, um, adding tables, images, it's all here. So uh, it is actually quite neat, um, but it's not gonna be as done for you as the other um, websites. So going back to my homepage or my uh, dashboard, um, I think the, the biggest things on a website, you need your homepage, you need your about page, um, and you need a contact page. So just gonna show you how to go through all the steps here. Adding a page and they have all these beautiful templates. Back when I created my other, my old WordPress website, it was a long, long time ago. So it was, they didn't have all these cool features they do now. So you can now pick a template for a page. And um, this looks like almost like a news article. It's amazing. So it's pretty fascinating. I'm going to, um, let's pick this one since I'm gonna basically pretend this is my new personal brand website. So look at about Adrian Brambilla. The dancing dude turned nerdy internet guy. Makes money, lives in a van, people don't believe it. <laughs> Um, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm just going to keep that. You guys are getting the, the picture here. Hopefully that, you know, it, these elements, these templates are basically your go-to on this, on WordPress. You pick the template, you fill in the information. You obviously upload, change the photo. You put a photo of yourself here. Um, but it's all here. And if you don't like something, you don't, it, maybe it's too much information. You simply delete it. Um, you can mess with any of the templates. You can notice these are two columns. And you can even make these wider or shorter. It's all plug and play, which makes it easy. All the I think we're creating a website today versus ten years ago. It's so much easier. They uh, all the smarter people have basically taken the time to to have uh, made it easy. So really, creating your pages. I'm just gonna hit publish. Creating your pages is so much easier. Your templates now. Uh, they can all be formatted together based off whatever templates you pick. So I just created an about page, um, not with, not, you know, ready to share cause it's incomplete, but that's how quick it is. Um, now if I wanted to create a contact page, I just scroll down here and which one looks good. This one, let's get in touch. Yeah. Love that. You'll notice these styles of pages are blogger centric you know they're based off bloggers so that's WordPress is a blogging platform at its core um, so contact me let's get in touch again I would definitely change this image um, but let me just see what I can do here premium content is gonna basically get you like library of stuff so that's one thing I'm uh, WordPress is gonna charge for that and I would say the other platforms, they're not necessarily charging you for that ability because it comes native in their price and that's why it's more expensive. You would obviously fill out that information, hit publish, and you've pretty much just created the two most important pages of your website so far. Now it's time to uh, go through just a little bit of um, comments that I think you may wonder if this is the uh, platform that you would like to pick. Um, WordPress has its own native stats and analytics. Are they amazing? No, but are they better than nothing? Yes. Um, eventually you want to basically install Google Analytics. Um, it's pretty much standard, but it does have something which is nice. Um, right here is another way of just quickly navigating through all the posts you created. Oh my goodness. Look at this old or old, old, old photos. That's probably a 20 year old Adrian doing some dance moves um, and the design of it. So let's just hit customize because this is my home page, which I have not seen in over 10 years. I would like to, uh, to change. So dancing El Tiro. 
changes to Adrian Rambila. Dancepreneur. And just like that, I should be changing the titles here. Uh, theme options. So just to show you, this is a front page, so I can create a page and then this, when I click that button, it would, it would uh, show uh, the most recent blog post. Or I can do a set featured image on a single blog post. Um, the, this is basically what you're, what you're doing. Um, it's just, if you create a blog, it can basically take this up and it basically is dynamic. Every time you upload a new blog post, it shows here. That's what most bloggers do. Otherwise you create a static page. So a static page would be something like this. This never changes. It's always the same. That's a static. So to do that, we would just have to go create the page. It's going to be the home page, And then you would simply select it here. Uh, under which category. So uh, we have a header image, which <laughs> that was my best effort back then. I'm not even trying now and I could do much better. So you just give that a click or you simply upload one. Um, I I hope, you know, if you're, if you're watching the other course videos you, with, with the other um, uh, social, I hope if you're watching the other course videos with the websites, you're seeing how this is maybe not the best looking, but I'm also breezing through this and, and I know you can build a good website on here, but homepage settings. So right now it's on your latest post. If I pick a static page, uh, as I mentioned, I could change this to the uh, about Adrian Brambilla. That's the page I just created with you guys that doesn't really look the part, so I wouldn't necessarily keep it. I, I didn't really create a homepage one, but that's what you'd have to do, is create the homepage. Otherwise, you pick a blog post. But that's essentially it for uh, WordPress. I just here am your guide showing you all the different options on how uh, to click and get started. And pretty much we've covered it all from, you know, the look of your website on building the pages. And then if you want to pick a theme to basically have it, you know, have it all done for you. WordPress does have themes too. Um, you can build much better websites. So right now I've already created my pages and this is a beautiful thing about content management systems is even if I change, as long as I have to recreate everything I just did, I just got to give that a click. I hope this is a free one because it looks good. Let's see. Right here, activate this design free, activate. And now my website should have been changed, but my pages should still be there. Let's go check it out. Adrian Brimbila, look at, looks more beautiful, way more beautiful than the one I created. I mean, this needs to go, but um, let's look at it. Amazing. One click of a button and the entire website's changed. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now um, I changed my theme. Watch, we can go back to the uh, main navigation and you can basically do the same things we were doing before, except now it's gonna look better with that new theme I, I created. So all of it is pretty much just as easy as the other ones. Um, if I was to rank them in order, WordPress is going to basically be the tougher one. It, uh, it's the cheapest solution. So if you're balling the budget, this is one uh, to pick for you. Otherwise, I would go with Squarespace and Shopify for, for uh, something that's more turnkey. But everything's right here and you still get themes. Um, it's just maybe just a little bit of a, a, a learning curve to get everything synced uh, together. But that's pretty much a WordPress website. So why would you choose WordPress if you're a blogger? If you're going to be blogging, this is the platform for you. And just like that, you would have built a WordPress website. Now, as I mentioned in my tutorial on how to build a Squarespace website, building a website is just the beginning of creating a successful online business or brand. Having a website is great. You need to have it just so your customers can learn more about you and check out and buy. But now the hard part, which is how to drive the right traffic to your website. If you think you're gonna be using WordPress for your brand or side hustle or business, comment below. I'd like to know if you are 
maybe pending on doing this versus a different content management system. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and more importantly, I hope you've learned now that you can actually build an awesome website using WordPress in under 20 minutes. If you want to get the complimentary resources that come with this video, make sure you go to adrianbrambulo.com slash 30 days. Otherwise, we're almost finished with the 30 day course. The next lessons are really how to drive that traffic, getting your ideal persona for your business and side hustle to come to your website that you've now created. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. This is Adrian. Catch you in the next video. Peace. When I started my very first side hustle, I was working at a call center making $27,000 a year. If I could pinpoint how I got from then to now, it would definitely be by the power of habit. It's one of the hardest things to create, but once you have it, you feel unstoppable. To help you build it, I've created the Side Hustle Journal, which is a daily journal that will help hold you accountable to working on your side hustle and creating an amazing business and life that you love. Go to adrianbrambilla.com journal to check it out today.